in the last presentation we completed the introduction about the kmap we saw how it is beneficial to use the kmap in place of the boolean algebra uh, we have actually seen a much elaborated uh, description of the kmap that uh, how and why the adjacent cells must have only one variables changing uh, and it is very important for you to study that particular lecture first and then move to this lecture and if you already know what is the kmap and how to solve it then also i would recommend you to study that lecture first then come to this examples part so without wasting any time let's move to our examples so example number one i'm doing the example from the three variables first which will help you understand the topic in a much better way so we are having a b c as the three variables summation of m 1 3 5 7 okay so this representation is something familiar to you we have already discussed when uh, we were studying the swap and the pos form so if you don't know then um, i will just give a small idea about it this f represents your function okay this a b c represents your variables and remember one thing that this order is very important if a is written first it means a is your m s b most significant bit and if c is written first then it is your l sorry c is written last then this is your l s b the least significant bit so this order is very important while solving k map also i have told you that how to write the m s b and l s b so don't change this order while writing your kmap this summation of m represents that it is sum of product and this 1 3 5 7 are actually m m1 m3 m5 and m7 and this tells us about the true values of this function f so i believe that it is actually a truth table written in the short form okay so let's move to the steps in solving this thing by using the kmap the first thing that you have to do is to find out is to find out number of variables okay so in our case we are having three variables so a small n is equal to three which are a b c okay now the second thing is to find out the number of cells in your kmap find out number of cells in kmap and how we are going to find it it is actually the number of cells is actually the number of combinations in the truth table so as you very well know that in case of three variable the total number of combination is 2 to the power 3 which is actually 8 so we are going to make the kmap which involves 8 cells so these are the two things that you first find from the given information then after we will move to make our kmap so let's make the 8 cell kmap okay one two three four five six seven eight so total eight cells are there now we will just write the variables a b c msb first and at last the lsb so writing the values 0 1 0 0 0 1 then 1 1 and 1 0 i have seen a common mistake that uh, people used to write 0 1 then after 1 0 but as i have already told you that in the adjacent cells it is not allowed that uh, we will change the two variables okay if i put 1 0 here then you can see that b is changing from 0 to 1 and also c is changing from 1 to 0 so you are changing the two variables in the adjacent cells so you so if you pair them you will not form this thing a or a bar which is the soul of the k map you can say that's why we put 1 1 so that only b changes from 0 to 1 whereas c remains the same 1 to 1 fine so you know that okay from the last lecture right so 
the next step is to fill out these things so as this is the first example I will write it down for you this is your M0 this is your M1 this is your M2 this is your M3 M4 M5 M6 M7 this is just the initial lectures about the KMAM that's why I'm writing this min terms representing the cells uh, when you are familiar with this KMAP and know how to solve it, there is no need to write this down. And then now next step is to fill out the values for which this function is true. So for M0, it's not true, so I will write it 0 here. For M1, it is true, so 1 here. M2, it is not true, so 0. For M3 it is 1, for M4 it is 0, for M5 it is 1, for M6 there is no 6 here, so it is 0, and for M7 it's 1. Now what we have to do next? We have to pair them up. And you already know what is the rule for the pairing. In case of 3 variable, the maximum possible pair of 1's is 8, in which case all the cells are having 1's. So you just pair them up and write the value as 1 okay because truth table is 1 for each and every possible combinations then the second thing after 8 pairs of 1 we do is the pair of 4 ones okay so we will find for the pair of 4 ones because we didn't have the pair of 8 ones and I can see that I can pair these 4 ones with no problem okay and as you can see that all the ones involved in this k-map is paired up by using this single combination of ones which is called as your implicant okay and I will give it name one actually uh, none of the other implicants the group of ones is involved so this writing one is actually redundant but we will stick to it so this is the pair of ones that we just made so the next step is to write the function so f is what is equal to 1 and 1 is what 1 is your uh, the a is changing from 0 to 1 as you can see the a is changing from 0 to 1 so we will neglect a the b is also changing from 0 to 1 so we will neglect the b also but the c is 1 throughout this group or the combination of the ones so we will write 1 as C. So this is your answer F is equal to C. You can see that the solving KMAP is very simple as compared to your minimization using the Boolean algebra. So this was the first example. Now move to the second example. Okay. So let's take the second example as capital F the variables are a b c is equal to summation of m 0 1 2 4 7 ok all the things are same we are having three variables so total possible combinations 8 so there are total 8 cells in the k map so it's same as the previous question so without wasting any further time we will just draw the 8 cell K map. Okay, and you know how to write the variables MSB first, then LSB last 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, not 1, 0, and at last 1, 0. This is 0, this is 1. Okay. Now, in this example, I am not writing the M0, M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6 and M7 because you already know how to fill it. So, let's see for M0, this is 0 representing the M0, the value is true, so 1 is here, for 1, it's true, so 1 is here, for 2, it's true, for 3, it's not. And generally we don't write 0 because it makes our map messy that's why we just write 1 for 4 yes it is true 
for 5 it's not for 6 it's not for 7 it is okay so let's start the pairing I cannot see that I can pair up 8 ones so the possibility of the 8 pairs of 1 is gone now we will move to the 4 pairs of 1 I cannot see that I can make a pair of 4 ones so it's also gone now I will move to the pairs of 2 ones okay so let's see how we are going to do it mm, this is the first pair okay these two ones are now paired to pair this one I cannot see any other way other than pairing with this one okay if there was one here I would have paired this two if there was one here I would have paired this two but there is only one here so I have to pair it like this now this one don't do mistake by pairing this in this way like this this is absolutely wrong because you are pairing the two diagonal ones and we do not pair diagonally in kmap I have already given the reason for it so you cannot pair it also like this so this one cannot be paired by or with the other ones so I have to just pair it alone now we will move for this one there is no one here or here so I cannot pair it like this in this way and now this one can only be paired in a way that I will just show you like this and like this because I have already told you that the adjacency follows in this way also the first cell and the last cell because you can see A is same in both the cells and also C is same 0 0 in both the cells but B is changing so only one variable is changing that's why we can pair them up in this way so let's give the name to it this one is your first pair it is your second pair it is your third pair and the last one is your fourth pair okay now we will write the function the function f is equal to 1 plus 2 this is actually or or 3 or 4 now we will find out 1 2 3 and 4 this one this one okay these two ones I can see A is changing from 0 to 1 so I will neglect A but B and C are not changing they are 0 0 so I will write it as I will write it as B complement C complement or now we will see for 2 this is the second pair of the ones in this A is not changing A is 0 throughout so I will write it as A complement and B is also not changing B is 0 and 0 so B complement but C is changing from 0 to 1 so I will neglect C for the third I can directly write it as A B C because it is for this cell A is 1 and B C are 1 1 also for the fourth one I can see A is not changing it's 0 so A bar but B is changing from 0 to 1 whereas C is not changing 0 0 so I will neglect B and write C as C complement so this is the answer of this particular K map so I think for this presentation the two examples are sufficient in the next presentation we will solve some more examples and also see if possible the four variable kmap and uh, I will tell you one thing that how pairing reduces the number of variables okay so see you in the next presentation